Hello friends, welcome to the my channel Creative Excel where you will get to learn a lot of creative thing about Excel. Okay, so today I'm going to teach you how exactly we can make this beautiful 3D graph in Excel. Today I make this self performance graph in Excel. You can take your own subject like KPI matrix or you want to uh, as per your requirement you can make this graph. So I have taken this sale performance gap by region so this is the beautiful graph related to this data if you want to change this if you if you can change this numbers here it will automatically change the number and all the data level here so let's see how to make this 3d graph in excel so let's start with the new sheets so i'll just copy paste this, copy and paste this data to here okay so before starting this graph we need some supporting variant and supporting data so let's see what kind of supporting data you need so this bright color you will see these are the sales number but these are the transparent area which we need to fill so first what we'll do is we'll add a transparent column here transparent area then I'll add a data label then I'll add top and bottom so why I add the top and bottom you will see there top cap and bottom cap are there so we have to add this to region for transparent area what i'll do is i will just simply make a calculation as one minus base number we'll drag down this now here i will add 30 percent as a data label this is common for and, and top as a 10 percent and bottom as a 10 percent okay now i'll drag down this okay so now what I'll do is I'll just add a graphs with this data so I'll add insert and we have to select a stack column this graphs okay so just get this graph in the screen and I'll delete this data which is not required to us so now we have to switch to raw a column you will see the option here in a design you will see the option switch to row column just click on that you will get the result now if you see the total of all three all this region is 150 percent 150 percent so what i'll do is i will make maximum as 150 percent means 1.5 and minimum at zero okay so I will delete this data because I don't require this now I will delete the grid line as well I will delete this base as well and this axis I will go to the axis region I will go to the line color so I will select this again And go to the line color and fill as no field okay okay now you have to right click and go to the format data series make this graph as 0 and this gap width as 40 percent okay and in data series itself go to the shape and change this to cylinder you, you, here you will find the option as a cylinder okay then in 3d then right click again go to the 3d rotation option here make x rotation as 0 and y rotation as 20% now we have to align this data range so let's see how we have to align so go to the design go to the data 
you can simply align this data so for this data alignment you have to take bottom on the top and top on the bottom so I have I'm going to take this bottom on the top and then top as a bottom then align data label as a second okay and on the third one I'll add a sale and then transparent area and then top bottom will have to take on the top okay so bottom data label sale transparent area and the top this is how you have to arrange arrange your data range okay click ok so now it's time to fill the color now so for this top right click and go to the format data series and click on the fill and fill as solid color with I'll take as this color okay for this for bottom I'll use the same color and this transparent area you have to select white color complete white and make transparency transparency as 70 percent and for this area I will select for data library area I will select white color only ok now for this same color we will use a brighter dark color so you can use a single color or you may use a multiple color I am going to use here a multiple color so for this I will go to the data range then fill and then select any of dark color and make transparency as 20% and then for this color I'm going to use you can use the color you want make transparency as 20% then for this use green and transparency as 20% for this solid color I'll use uh, this color I'll make transparency as 20% and for solid fill I'll choose violet color sorry I'll use this violet color and make transparency as 20% okay so now you have to add a data label for data label series you can select on the graph as a data label option and then go to the layout and click on a data label option and just click on the show data label now it will show you the data labels here now we will format this data label so just click on all the data label and select the font as impact and increase the size as per your requirement okay so we have to uh, we need this data label to show this number as a sale percentage so for that what I'll do is I'll select the first one and in formula bar click equal to and select the figure so this is a one-time exercise you have to do okay and then take the third one and the percentage one by one you can add the percentage here So the next thing that you have to do is click on the all the data label, go to the format and remove the shape fill as no fill and shape outline as no outline. And the one more thing that you have to do is 
color this data label as per the color that you use for to show in the percentage so for first one i'll use blue one for second one i'll use the second color for third one i'll use green color fourth one So why we are giving this color this will look more attractive okay so now just click on the graph and go to the format and go to the shape field and select shape field as no field and shape outline as no outline then simply what you can do is you will go to the view you can click on the grid line unselect this grid line so you will get a clear picture over here now go to the insert and insert a rectangular shape rounded rectangular shapes this one so i'll insert this okay now you will see a blue uh, yeah, sorry yellow point over here just straight that yellow point like this so this will make you some shapes now right click and go to the format shape in format shape go to the 3d rotation in 3d rotation click x percent x as a 0 percent and y as a 290 percent and then in 3d format sorry in 3d rotation it said go to the prospects and select this shape in perspective yeah okay now so here you can make as 294% or 290% in 3D format go to the depth and select depth as 15% okay and in bevel shape go to the shape and bevel shape select this shape slope hit enter now we have to format this with shape fill shape fill as will fill as this color and outline as no outline now drag this area to drop area and right click the shape and click on send to back and you can format this as per your requirement now and you can make this as a white so that it will be appear okay so this is how we can made a 3d graph in excel you can make this color as a white so as to it will not show on your screen so this is how you can make a very simple 3d graph in excel hope you enjoyed this video please do practice it by your own this is a very stunning beautiful 3d graph thank you for watching this video and please do subscribe my channel to see the more video like this thank you very much